Hello everyone and welcome back to Feature Highlights on Pipsa TV channel. I'm your host Sinisha and today we're gonna discuss about users. And I'm talking about the user object in the WordPress and you can see all of those objects here in the users all user list. I'm gonna explain the difference between this user over here and this user over there. I mean, there's literally no difference. They are same object and Pipso can use them as well as all other third-party plugins can use them too. And how all of this works, I'm going to explain if you stick with me. So let's get into it. When you first try to register an account with Pipso, a form like this will be displayed. That, of course, if you didn't change any default settings. If you change the default settings, Obviously, you already know what I'm talking about, but if you never did, I'm going to show you how to change all of this over here. And let's say you only want to show one email field or password should be at least 10 characters long and you want to reduce that to, let's say, five characters long and stuff like that. Maybe add even more fields to this form. All right. So first thing we need to do is actually go back to the WP admin and log into the admin side of our website. From here, go to Pipso configuration. And this license that I'm using is the license for the free bundle. So you can easily go to the installer over there and get the free bundle for yourself. You don't need to copy and paste the license here. So go to uh, accounts and security. And here I said, we don't need to repeat the email field. Okay. Uh, you may want to keep this just for the uh, consistency reasons, because people might sometimes mistype their email address. And if they need to enter it twice, there are lower chance to, to mistype it. All right. So let's save those settings. And more importantly, I want to skip email verification because I'm using this uh, test website on my local host computer. It might look like it's on pipsa.tv address, but it's not. It's actually on my computer and I cannot send emails from my local computer. So I'm going to disable this email verification. If you are hosting your website on a live server, I strongly recommend to, to uh, not skip email verification because uh, what this means is when user creates an account, they will automatically be able to log into your website without, uh, without uh, verifying that they are actual owner of the email they use during the, during the registration. Okay. And lastly, I want to uh, reduce the minimum password length to say only five characters, because once again, this is my, uh, local host computer and the need for uh, Titan security is not present at all. I just want to uh, allow myself to easier register new users. All right, save the settings. And now let's log out. If you see the option to register a new account here, that is bad and Later on, I'm going to show you how to disable that. For now, let's go back to the front page of our website and try to create a new account. All right. So click on join us now. I'm going to change this to user one. Email is going to be user one at pipso.com. And here it is. I now need to type it. I cannot copy and paste this. Or no, it does not allow me to paste. Okay. So user needs to type the email one more time. 
and this is the fail safe if i if i write it wrong over here and I enter the non-existing email, I will not be able to verify it unless I type it wrong again, which is, we cannot fight stupid, right? Okay, so pipso.com and password is going to be user1 and user1. Register it. I don't want to save this password and now my user is registered and can immediately log in to the community. But I don't want to log in as this user because uh, you, we all know how that looks. What I want to see is what happened in the backend, okay? So I'm going to log in as admin and then I'm gonna go to WP admin and see all of the users. Okay, let's find user one. And there it is. Okay. As we can see, WordPress immediately created a new user object and put it in the all users list. If we edit this user, we can see that it's absolutely the same like any other WordPress user. Which in turn means that all the other third party plugins that we install, let's say uh, WooCommerce or uh, uh, Tutor LMS or, or whatever third plugin you install, third party plugin we install, this user will be able to use those plugins without the need to register again or create a new account for, for those specific plugins that are just silly, having two accounts for one website, right? It's uh, That's not how things on the internet work nowadays. Now let's go back to the user and I want to update this, uh, this user one with uh, some PIPSO information, okay? And to help me with that, I have this plugin called user switching, this one, which allows me to switch between users instantly without ever having to log out and, uh, and log in as them. You can use this, uh, this plugin for, uh, for the uh, maintenance or, or purposes of easier maintaining your website. But for this tutorial or this video is completely irrelevant. It just allows me to switch between users. Okay. So I'm going to switch to this guy. And now WordPress thinks that I'm logged in as user one. And I can go here and do everything as user one. Let's change the avatar. Let's use this one. Done. Let's change the cover. Yeah, this one is good. Or maybe this one. Okay. Let's reposition it to look nicer. Save it. Now, I want to change about me fields because my name is not user one. I want to be called. Rex and my name is Goodman. If you found a reference to Rex Goodman and you know who that guy is, let me know in the comments below. Okay, it's mail and let's say my birth date is 56. Save this, save this. Okay, so now I have configured my profile in the Pipso. I did not touch the user account, but I changed the profile fields and updated my profile. What exactly is the difference between profile and user account? Well, profile is... Uh, uh, the uh, this page that you see right now where uh, where interaction with the user can happen you can make friends with uh, with different profiles you can uh, have followers uh, uh, upload photos to your profile 
Now, you can have profile fields as, as seen here. You know, stuff like that, it's profile. And account is your password, your username, your email. That basic, basic information of the, of the user object in WordPress is the user account. And profile is everything else that Pipso built on top of your user object or user account. To put this into the context of the third party, for example, uh, WooCommerce, which is a popular uh, e-commerce uh, plugin for WordPress, can also create their own profile. They will use the account from the WordPress, but they will build a completely different profile for your user. Accidentally, I already have WooCommerce installed. And if I go here in the address bar and change this to my account, you will see this new page created by, uh, by uh, WordPress which is showing the profile of your WordPress account. This is not Pipso, okay? And that is normal because Pipso and WordPress can uh, work with or without each other, all right? Okay, so I showed you the example of the WooCommerce, but there are many uh, third-party plugins that uh, also create their profile on top of the user account and some of them will require a specific option in wordpress dashboard to be enabled and the option i'm talking about is this one in settings and then general and anyone can register okay save the changes and now WordPress, uh, WooCommerce will also allow you to register users, but not just WooCommerce. Everyone will be, uh, every single third party plugin will probably, uh, that handle users will allow you to do so, but also WordPress will do it as well. So let's log out from this website. And remember from the, uh, Earlier in this video, I told you if there is a register option over here. So let's try to register from here. Username, we're going to use it user2. And email is going to be user2 at pipso.com. Now, registration is going to be emailed on my... Uh, on my email that I used here, but because this computer cannot send emails, I'm just going to uh, go back to the front end, then log in as admin and navigate back to WP admin users, all users, and I'm going to see user number two is created, okay? And this user also already have a Pipso profile, a WooCommerce profile, and everything else. But if you want to disable the option for, uh, for users to register like this and completely avoid Pipso or whatever third-party uh, registration flow you use, you will go to Pipso configuration, and once again, this license you see here is the license for the free Pipso bundle. So if you have uh, uh, some thoughts in your mind, how can you get it? You can go to the installer and install the Pipso free bundle. You will get the free license as well. Uh, go to accounts and security. And from here, you will need to redirect WordPress registration. Enable this option. Save the settings. Now let's log out as well. And try to register a new user. And as you see, when I clicked on the register link over here, 
it automatically register uh, automatically redirected me to the pipso registration now let's take a look at the available pipso options here in the users list basically what you can do here is ban the user or upgrade them from uh, from a community member to community administrator you can also approve the users if your registration requires uh, admin approval okay so let's say this Ashley user is uh, not behaving well and I want to ban her from the website. I can either do that from her profile. I can go to her profile and then ban her from here as an administrator. Or I can do it from here by simply changing her role to banned and click on change role. Now Ashley is going to be banned and she is not going to be able to log into my website anymore. But if I want to unban her, I will simply select her account, change the role to community member and click on change role. Now she's a community member and can log in back. Likewise, I can also upgrade her to community administrator, select her, change the role, and now she's a community administrator, which means she can perform all the uh, administrator tasks in the front end. And if I switch to her, let's switch and go to community. As you can see in the back end, she doesn't have a lot of permissions, but on the front end, she can do basically everything. She can delete posts, disable comments, and all the other all, all the other things uh, that administrators can do so that is how you create the community administrators so let's switch back to frank which is my admin user go back to users and let's say i want to make barbara lane to be community administrator as well and now I have three community administrators. One is admin, which is the guy who installed the website, the owner of the website. And I have two helpers that can do administrative tasks in my community. And that is all I have prepared for you today. I hope you found this video informative and you learned what is the difference between a WordPress user object or user account and user profile in Pipso or any other third-party component. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell notification icon to be notified whenever a new video comes out. Don't forget to follow us on social media. We are present there as well, and links will be in the description below. Until the next video, I wish you guys all the best with your websites. Bye!